What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another Warbots video. So lately I've had a lot of people asking me about the Nightingale, which I haven't played in years. So we're going to bust this thing out and see if it's any good. These old school DOT weapons like the Venom, the Toxins, these things got buffed recently. And I'm not really sure how good they are, but this is something I'm testing out right now to find out if these are worth playing. And so far I like them. I just got done recording the footage for this and... Seems pretty good. If I wasn't running those, I think I would definitely run the the mace. The mace and hammers and cudgels are awesome shotgun weapons. What I like to do with this robot is fly over top of people, heal people, and then land right next to an enemy and just try and beat them up. Sonic weapons could be pretty good on this as well. Now when it comes to the modules, I've got the nuke amp, the immune amp, the repair amp. You could always look at doing something like three balance units or two balance units in a last stand. That would work well if you don't have these. Since this robot goes into stealth a lot, we're going to go ahead and throw a showdown drone on here. So when I come out of stealth, I'm going to get extra damage, speed, and repair. So that's actually a pretty big deal. As far as the pilot, we have Virginia Walker running mechanic, roadhog, defense expert, suppressor, true ace, stubborn warrior, and armor expert. And those are all excellent skills for this robot. Now I just got done playing this and I haven't played this thing in years. I was not expecting to like it and I had some pretty nice games, but sometimes it does go like this, unfortunately. All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab this beacon. I see a couple. Oh, crap. It's a shin. All right, let's smash and let's wait, wait. No, 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 don't. Hey, little dude, stop that. Oh, man. So I did have two or three games like that and I had a bunch of them that want a little bit more like these. Let's roll the game footage and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and we'll review this thing after the gameplay. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and drop in over here on this terrible giant desert map. I don't know why it's said terrible, but anyways, I like this map sort of, kind of, maybe not. But we're going to go try and support our teammates. What we're going to do is go help these guys get the beacon. So we're going to fire at these guys. And if they start taking damage, we're going to try and make sure we fly up over top of them and heal them. And we're actually going to suppress people as well. One cool thing is you get to suppress people with this. So that is a very big help. You can heal and suppress. So not only are you healing teammates, but you're making so the enemies can't damage them as much. So you just got to shoot that little guy with your beam and ba-bam, blow him on up. So we got that beacon here. We need to make sure we get this one. And we're going to spray this guy with some green toilet water. Da, 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 die, Mr. Red Dudes. So we got this beacon. Now we're going to go ahead and fly up. We're going to suppress this guy. That's one of those darn crisis thingies. So we got to go back here. It looks like someone's trying to steal our beacon. I'm going to try and make sure I stay over top of my teammate. Because if he takes damage, we want to make sure we heal him. And I'm going to try and land in a spot where if there's an enemy... I can just land right next to them and help my teammates out. But we really want to focus on support and not really fighting with this. I mean, this guy is designed to be a support healer. It's not really designed to be a brawler, but I mean, it's got some pretty good hit points. All right, so let's go ahead and go back up in the air. What is that little thing? That thing is scaring me. Actually, let's go and torch this guy really quick. And then we'll... Ah, uh, he's, he's in the thing. So let's go ahead and... Uh, can we get him? Can we get him? Nope, nope, nope. But I think we're going to wait till our teammates need it to go up in there, right? I feel like right now... Ah, oh, I thought there was an enemy over here. There's no enemies. Okay. Never mind. I'm healing people for no reason. <laughs> I'm healing people that don't even need healed right now. It's terrible. It's terrible. All right. So let's try and get that leech. We're just going to simply suppress him. That way he can't damage my teammates as much. And, uh, yeah, I see that I am pretty much out of ammo great job danny lightning you forgot to reload your weapons again the good news is these things have a three second reload and they they do pretty nice damage i mean these weapons do most of the damage from the dot and not the uh, actual weapon damage itself but right now we're just going to suppress this guy our teammate should be able to knock him out really quick i mean this little suppression thing doesn't do too much damage yes we got him we got him but it definitely makes so he can't hurt my teammate as much all right, so, so far, I mean, this is pretty fun. This is fun to play. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so we got to worry about this Titan over here. I don't think this is going... Oh, crap. There's another Titan. Um, I shouldn't have come back here. I wasn't expecting, like, two or three Titans to spawn in. So I'm going to try and fly back over to the beacon. I don't know if... Oh, gosh. They killed me. That sucked. 
That was kind of fun. It wasn't the greatest game footage, but that's the first game I played with this thing in years, and it actually went really well, so I liked it. So let's go do another game clip, but first, if you happen to buy something over on the WarRobots web shop, if you use author code DannyLightning at checkout, all lowercase in one word, that'll really help support my channel, and you might get cheaper prices. There's a link in the video's description to that, but let's go play another game and see how this thing does. And I don't know why, but the game just keeps dropping me on this map over and over and over again today. It's completely crazy. So we're going to go ahead and walk on over this way. And I think we're going to move over to this beacon on the left or possibly support our team, depending on what situation happens. I see a couple of red guys going to the left. I see my teammate in the center probably needing help. So let's get up in the air and try and support these guys. I think he might need some healing. I'm going to suppress those enemies right there. We'll worry about that other beacon in a minute. Right now, we need to worry about getting the most important beacon on this map, which is the center. And unfortunately, my team just lost it. So I'm going to try and land next to this guy. And okay, he's dead. Perfect, perfect. So I'm going to shoot these guys from a little bit of a distance. And so far, I feel like these weapons are actually performing pretty well. I mean, they were pretty terrible for a long time. Not really terrible, but they weren't like the greatest weapons. But that buff really makes them feel a lot better than they were last time I played them. So these are probably playable again, from what I can tell. I'm going to be doing some more gameplay with these weapons coming up, and we'll do a review on them coming up pretty soon. But I need to get a couple more days of playing these before I'm 100% sure. But as of right now, they're feeling pretty good. I need to get in some like high-end squad gameplay to really get a feel for these before I know I can tell you, hey, you should build these or whatever. But so far, I'm liking it. All right, we want to try and go up on the roof there, right? We want to go suppress that guy. I don't know what he's doing, but uh, can we suppress a shell through the shell? I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to suppress those dudes if we can. And we want to make sure we protect the center beacon. We got to keep the center. That's very, very important to keep the center beacon. We do not want these nasty red guys to take our center. Oh, crap, sandwiches. Come on, dude. All right, let me off the wall, sir. Sir, stop pushing me. <laughs> All right, he's stealing the beacon. I got to get on this thing before he takes it. So right now, we are zapping the Ochi Kochi. A scorpion showed up to help. Awesome. Let's get him. Let's get him. I need to hit my healing. Come on, three. Up in the air. Perfect, perfect. My God, he's shooting me across the map again. Sir, stop that junk. Stop that junk, sir. Nobody, nobody likes that. So unfortunately, there's... Hey, I need some teammates to come help me out. Now, I did heal up a good amount. That's the one thing that's really nice. So between the uh, between the healing ability and this drone, that should be a nice amount of healing. I should have extra damage right now. My, come on, dude. What kind of crap is this? Crap sandwiches times two. That's what that is. Double crap sandwiches right there. All right, so let's get back in there. We need to get that beacon back from these enemies if we want to win this. But yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll do this game clip, and then we'll go play a full game after this one. But uh, yeah, let's zap this guy. He's got a purple shield. All right, we're going to suppress a ball. Like, I, I don't know. Everybody's got shield, so if they got shield, you can't suppress them. So you want to focus on suppressing guys who don't have shields. <laughs> I don't think you can suppress a shell. Maybe you can, I don't know. I'm actually not sure if you can suppress that shell or not through a shield. My drone's going crazy, guys. I think it's broken. I think it's broken. Or maybe that's telling me that it's uh, working. I'm not sure. All right, so we're pretty low on health. This thing actually feels pretty tanky. I mean, it's taking a licking and it keeps on ticking, just like one of them there, Timex watches. And uh, yeah, let's suppress that Titan. We don't want it to beat up our teammates, so suppression for you, sir that's what you get and i gotta watch out for this rook but we got two beacons right now we need to make sure we have three all right that i'm probably gonna die I, i'd imagine this titan's gonna kill me right i don't think this is going to go well but we got seven seconds till we can go back up at the air three two one can we do it can we do it all right perfect perfect unfortunately that thing has a purple shield so we can't oh we can suppress that titan there we go. Hit him, hit him, hit him. All right, let's try and get that guy. We can't get through his shield, though. If that shield dies, we can suppress that Demeter. Um, crap, they killed my teammate. I guess the suppression just... Oh, come on. Now someone's over here stealing our beacon. This is bad. All right, take that, Mr. Rook. 
Zap. He's dead. Ba bam. We got him. We got him. Let's get our beacon back. And I'm going to try and green toilet water spray these guys up on the roof. Here comes another Titan. I should probably go up in the air and heal my teammate the best I can. I want to try and get over top of him. Okay, he's running away. That means we are going to lose the beacon. I mean, I, I guess I get it. You know what? Let's heal this Titan. We're going to stay over top of this Titan and heal him up. I mean, this is actually a really, really good support bot, I think. If you guys like playing support, I think you might like this thing. I mean, like I said, you know, the first battle I played with it, it went awesome. The second battle I played went awesome. Then I had a couple of bad ones, like that first clip I showed you. And uh, we're going to go play one more after this, and we'll just play the whole game. Whether it's good or bad, you don't care. I'm not here to try and show you that I'm the world's best player. I'm here to show you what these robots and stuff perform like for your average player. So I picked the average game footage. I'm not here to try and pick the, the really, 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 really good footage because the majority of people don't have those really good games constantly. I mean, there's a few people out there that constantly have crazy good games, but most of us just have decent to good games, you know? And then we get one of those really awesome games every once in a while. And it's not fair just to show you guys that. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and stop this and, yeah, play another clip. All right, so that was fun. It was another good game supporting our teammates. I think that went quite well for not playing a robot in years. So let's go play one more and let's go do it to it. And it seriously dr just dropped me on this map yet again. It's just like dropping me, dropping me on this map over and over can you please give me this is like the 10th time oh my god why Ugh. stupid teammates <laughs> all right i'm shooting at him take that sir actually i'm shooting at the wrong guy all right well every this is bad this is bad why oh my god they all went to that they all went to the easy beacon nobody oh my god this my team is doing everything they're not supposed to do right now dear team why why do three people go over to that beacon why are you gonna leave me over here to try and take the center by myself come on come on come on what i don't understand these people that get these freaking beacons like this or don't get the beacons they run to the back corner and i what are they gonna camp back there i'm i'm over here all by myself in a support robot all right here comes somebody let's go up in the air let's heal up let's let's suppress these guys yeah, my team did the absolute worst thing they could possibly do right at the start of the game. They all ran to that back beacon and nobody came to get the most important beacon on the map. So we are off to a very, very bad start. What is that? Oh, come on. All right. All right. That guy's back there. Let's kill him really fast. See you later. Um, ugh, this is just infuriating that you're when your team look, we got two beacons, right? I see they're all on that back side for some reason. They're still all back there. We don't need everybody to be back there. I mean, we need like one person back there to protect those beacons and then everybody else should be trying to get another one of these beacons that we don't have and nobody's over here doing anything. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I'm a support robot. I can't, I can't do this by myself. So we're just gonna have to do the best we can here. All right, here comes some guy coming around the side. We're going to go ahead and zap him with the green toilet water. All right, he ran away. Let's go ahead and get up in the air. We're going to hit him with the suppression. All right, finally, we have a teammate that's coming out from the woodwork to help. He's going to try and get that beacon. So I'm going to try and support. Oh, God, he just blew. Wait, no, he's still alive. Okay, good, good. We're going to try and support him. There's more red guys spawning in over here. All right, he's dead. I think I just, yeah. That, that's a death sentence for me. If I survive this, it'll be amazing. So we're just going to spray these guys. We're going to run around this. I mean, this thing feels some... I don't know. Maybe it's not that durable. All right. So that time it got its butt kicked. Last couple of games were quite good. That time we got our butt kicked pretty quick. But we still did okay for the bad situation that we're in. We don't have any beacons. We have zero. Eh my god all right so here comes a nasty titan we're gonna try and get him we got the atomizer and the nucleon on the fenrir it, these are fun weapons i mean a lot of people underestimate these weapons but they're actually pretty darn good i like them i like them a lot 
All right, somebody's shooting me from way back there. He's he's back behind that thing, so forget it. Let's go run inside here. So now we got three beacons, so that's good. Problem is, one of them is the enemy's home, and that that's a pretty hard beacon to keep because they're gonna spawn over there and they can just grab it back. So that's not really the, the beacon you wanna get because they're just gonna take it back in a couple of seconds. You wanna have your home, the center, and you know that one over there on the right if possible. You wanna control those three beacons and you know the one on the left and the one on the right is what I should say. The one on the right, or the one I'm, I'm facing right now that's way over there in front of me is probably the least important one because that's out in the open, it's easy for the enemies to shoot you, there's not enough cover for that one. So that's probably the least important beacon. You want to have the one on the my current left, the center, and your home. Those are the three beacons you want to control on this map. Alright, so it looks like we're doing, we're making a comeback. Somehow we're starting to overpower the other team. And yeah, things are starting to look a little better. So maybe my team's not so bad after all. All right, let's go over this way and shoot this guy. Zap, bam, ba bam. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on over this way. I don't know why. We got it. Oh, that guy's stealing our home. Um, Let's go. Let's go back over this way. We're going to try and get him. That guy is stealing that beacon. That's not good. Let's go ahead and mothership ourselves to get some extra durability. We got that brand new Avalon ship on here, which should make us pretty tough. Ah, oh, great. A freaking Titan spawned in. All right. And there must be a Newton because they've got me up in the air. All right. My Fenrir is dead. Let's go ahead and drop in the bedware. So this is where we're going to we're gonna try and really make a comeback. We're just going to have to go torch a bunch of Titans. So we want to use the shield wisely and just burn some people up with fire. We got to kill it with fire. All right, we're going to drop that uh, mothership on our head. But bam I'm going to tell you what, that mothership is a little bit crazy. The way it works with the repair amplifiers for the Titans is redonkulous right now. It, it pretty much makes unkillable Titans. So it, it's a little bit on the crazy side. All right, so let's go ahead and beat these guys up. Let's go ahead and beat these guys up really good. Yeah. We want to kill us some red guys. So none of those dudes are in range, but we're just trying to kind of use that shield to protect our teammates. We want to get over there a little bit. We want to just try and torque somebody. All right. There we go. Let's see if we can beat up these titans. All right. That Newton picked me up, and I could care less. I'm about to put up my shield again, and ba-bam. Ha-ha. He dropped me. That's weird. That's the first time I think a Newton's ever dropped me for no apparent reason. I don't know if he intentionally put me down or if that was a game glitch or what, but I wasn't up in the air for very long. All right, so he's dead. This guy's about to die. We're going to drop the mothership. But bam And we are making a good comeback. So if I play this Titan right, we can definitely win this game. Right now, I'm going to come over here to their home, and I'm going to try and keep these guys occupied, plus beat up all of their titans if possible. Unfortunately, I think that guy's repair amps and stuff just kicked in. So even though he doesn't have much health, he might be really hard to take out at this point. But that's okay. We're going to be very hard to take out as well. I currently have full health. Now, all the red guys are gone. Oh, there's only two people left on that team, so I think we're going to end up winning this one. Ah, game ended. Nice, nice, nice. All right, cool, cool. That was pretty darn good, I must say so myself. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what kind of scores we got. All right, 7.7 .7 million man damage, 7 kills, 1 assist, 2 beacons. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, so we played a couple of games. We had a lot of fun with this, and it was pretty good. It did, it did have a few games where it just got obliterated right at the start, but it had a lot of games where it did a great job supporting its teammates. So I think the robot itself is going to be kind of hit and miss. If you really, if you really like healing, if you really like playing support, this might be something you'd be interested in. If you want something that's just a straight-up brawler, I'm not 100% sure that this is going to be for you, but if you like support robots, this is kind of cool. Now, when it comes to Champion League gameplay, I don't think this is something that I would want to keep in my hangar 24 hours a day. This is something that I would probably want to put in there every once in a while just for fun. 
I mean, I enjoyed playing. It was decent. If I went into some really competitive competitive squad play, I don't think this is something I would put in my hanger. I mean, it, it's a cool deal. It can help your teammates out. It can brawl a little bit, but uh, not the best robot in the game. I think there's way better choices. But again, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I had fun. I think a lot of you guys will too, but I think there are better choices, so... I would build some other stuff before I made one of these. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. If you drop down the video's description, you'll see my Discord server, my other YouTube channel, some affiliate links to get some cool lighting, cameras, audio gear, and everyday awesome, amazing items. You'll also see some game news and all kinds of good stuff down there in the video's description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lightning out. Have a great day. You guys are awesome. See ya.